All right, YouTube land. I think this is part four. If not, I'll make the correction. Anyway, I'm doing the heater core in the 84 Buick LeSabre. We're back at it. We're about two beers in. So anyway, a couple little updates. So when you go take this heater box out, so this thing here is in there like this. Okay. There's a couple little pesky screws. Like I said, this one here was covered with some sealer. But down inside the box here, now it's flipping around the other way so you can see it. But there's a screw hole here. Where's that hole? There's a screw hole there. And then there's a screw hole right there. Them two little pesky things are down in the back. So don't start yanking on it because you will break it. I heard something crack. I don't know where it cracked, but all I know is it's not broke which makes it really nice because we're going to clean all this up and we're going to reseal it when I put it back in so everything's really nice. That's how you do a restoration job. But anyway, this is our evaporator. Right? Yeah. So that's all clogged up. Got a bunch of crap in it. And it's so far going all the way to the other side of the box. That literally clogging the cores up starting to get dirt to the other side of it so yeah we're gonna replace it even though it may not have needed it I definitely got to get another orifice tube get another one of those but anyway here's our main issue is this heater core right here oh yeah look at that just from it laying on the ground right there since I took it out and that was laid this way so we know it's leaking somewhere if it was laying like that and it's leaked it's there so but anyway yeah look at that that's uh, definitely was leaking so get rid of that thing we got new ones so anyway we're gonna clean out all that stuff out of that box you know that stuff cleaned out of there We'll wipe all this stuff down, make it all real clean. We're gonna reseal that. I'll get all that cleaned off and we'll reseal the whole box. Everything where I see sealer. I've got some stuff that we use to seal the windows in my semi, so it's for windshields. So I think it'll work pretty good. It's in a caulking gun, so we'll caulk the whole thing up after I get it all cleaned up. But I'll be back once I get it all cleaned up and caulked up and you're ready to start sticking stuff together I'll be back so but so all in all probably about an hour's worth of work right now so far the tool is holding up pretty good I've taken all the bolts out with it so far hasn't died yet still on its first battery so so far so good it's apart let's see if it'll go all back together with one battery anyway and hey for 60 bucks you can't beat it. It works pretty good. I mean, Alrighty. We'll be back. <laughs> 